Well, good evening, everybody. Hi, how's it going? Welcome to a new playthrough, which I, I, I think will be a one-off stream, uh, judging by the length of this game. Although well, it could be two. I don't know. Uh, hi, uh, today we're playing Clock Tower for the PS1. Not the SNES one, the PS1 Clock Tower. It's very confusing because uh, because uh, they're both called Clock Tower. Although the SNES one does get called the first fear sometimes. Anyway, how are you all doing today? Welcome to the stream. Happy Thursday. How has your day been? Um, I'm trying to think of if there's anything I have any news I have to report. Not really. No, I've been I've been kind of slowly but surely working on my next video. Uh, I I, I tell you, I had to record some Star Wars Super Bombard racing footage for this video it's not about that game but i mention it so i i decided to get some instead of downloading someone else's footage i decided to just get some footage myself though i don't know if that was a good idea or not i have now been exposed to that game and it's not good <laughs> so hi everybody that's coming in hi, hi. lovely to see you all i'm very excited for this player actually I, I keep i kept meaning to do it for so long and i kept putting it off um I don't know why. I just kind of ended up being one of those. I just ended up putting it off. Uh, I kind of start. I wanted to do it around the time that I was going to take a break, and then I kind of put it off, and I didn't want to jump into this directly after the break. So I don't know. Uh, what am I reviewing next? Uh, Star Wars Dark Forces. It's just I, I mentioned Star Wars games in general, so I I I, I needed footage from uh more than one. Uh, but hey. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right. What are we doing? My brain is just like, uh, how to function. I have some tea. I have some uh, lemon and ginger tea because my throat's been a little bit dry today. I think it's allergies. Um, well, it's not dry. I don't know how to explain it. It's like you know when you when you when you have like uh, hay fever and your throat's a little bit like. <clears throat> uh. It's one of those days. Also been sneezing a bit, so you know. Anyway, I have everything pretty much prepared uh, for this playthrough. Got my controller ready for because it's obviously PS One, and I'm I'm emulating it on Duck Station. Doing a little bit of setup, so I've 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 seen like the first minute or so of the game already. Um, we're probably getting another heat wave next week. Another one, really? Oh, that's awful. I don't need this in my life, you know? Uh, all right. Okay. Tell you what. Let's let's get this. Uh, Duck Station Supremacy. It, it is like like a really good uh, um, emulator. I, I've found a lot. It can do a lot more than like EPSXE, for example. Yeah. Exam Although I am using a, I'm using a controller. I know it might have mouse support, but... Wait for this to appear. Is it going to appear? There it is. What's the volume like? I don't know. That should be fine, actually. That should be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. Don't worry about that sound. It just does that with this particular ROM for some reason. Okay. <clears throat> Hell of a lot more stable than EPS XE. Well, it's 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 more stable, and it's also it, the sounds a lot less crackly and all that kind of thing. Entertainment. I've seen this cutscene already. It's uh, this is the end of um, the first game, with the sort of demon baby thing following you through the caverns, and then and then and then you you blow it up, like so. <laughs> sometimes it just happens that way. You know, sometimes you just blow up a demon baby. We've all been there. I love the voice acting in this. <laughs> I've seen this cutscene already. No, it sounds crazy, but it looks like they were killed with a giant pair of scissors. The, the voice acting is a little bit quiet, by the way. Search for prey. Is this two? Yes. Trail Basically, yeah. Terror stretches across Europe, from Norway to England. 
Even at full volume, the voices are quiet. Top of the screen cropped a bit. Uh, it's it kind of works. Duck Station kind of has a very odd interaction with OBS. So there, even though some parts look like they're cropped, it's mostly menus that are. The gameplay itself should be perfectly fine. Oh, I can tweak it if need be. Um, is it? It's just weird thing. It is a little bit cropped. Actually, let me have a quick look and just have a look. Uh, where is it? PS One. Hold on. Maybe it is a bit cropped. Hold on a second. Uh, oh, we don't need to see this again. Oh, maybe it is. Okay, hold on. I'll just, just give it a tweak. Apologies. I don't. I don't know if. Uh, oh goodness, there's more over here as well. Okay. Oh, is it the, oh, here we go. This is more, more like it. Um, that'll do. I think. I think that's right now. The evil murder. Right. Yeah, that looks to be roughly more right. Sorry about the dog. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, that looks like it. Uh, hello, maybe. Uh, is, is, is this a... Uh... No, that's fine. That's fine. I think it's about fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's good. It's just it's it has a very odd interaction with OBS, and I'm not entirely sure why. Maybe it's just got the, the particular crop I had of it. Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have it cropped. Just just to kind of. I'll figure it out another time. It should be good for the time being. Let's go for a new game. Prologue, Samuel Barton. Do you know like something out of Splatterhouse? Yeah, I could, I could see that. I turn the game up slightly because it is really quiet in places. Even though music is pretty loud, maybe I can tweak that in the settings. Professor Barton. Professor Barton. Professor Barton. <clears throat> What on earth are you doing, Professor? You mustn't hypnotize her like this. She's not ready to remember the murders yet. Helen, the clock tower murders are fascinating research material for me. I must know the yeah, truth sure of what happened. Oh, 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 hello. She can't take any more of this today, Professor. I can see where this I'm is slightly, uh, hold on. There's a little right. bit of the top that's cropped off as well. But remember one thing, Helen. You may be her guardian, but you are also my assistant. Yes, Professor. There we go. Okay. All right, so I, 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 I've had a little bit of mess around in this bit, and uh, it, it, it is interesting so far. Because... Uh, this guy is is uh They are replica of the scissors used by the murderer in the clock tower case. They are like the weapon he used to slash up his victims. Oh. Hold on, is there like a settings button I can hit? No. Hmm. Maybe not. Uh okay. I just want to see if I can tweak the the music uh, uh, and and stuff uh, separately. Hmm, there's a faint smell of ammonia. This is this is your office. You should know what's going on, buddy. Um, a file cabinet. Patients' records. Uh, what's this? There's a memo stuck between the pages. You found hint one. Hint one. I don't know what that is. Um, 
How's it going, Pop Cube? And hello, Pega Drink. How you doing? The Clock Tower murders. The mass murder of over 10 victims in this case. How intriguing. Jennifer Simpson. Only one of two survivors. I have to get information out of her for future profiling. Materials. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> My laboratory. Lately, I've been doing mostly criminal psychology. Research. <laughs> hmm, the staff is still here. Now, if I know... The one thing that I know about this game is the, the, the character you end up playing as for most of the game uh, is determined by how much you talk to these people. If you only talk to them once, then you play as Helen. But if you talk to them more than once, I think you get to play as Jennifer. And I'm going to try and play as Jennifer, so... So let's do that. Professor, Helen left her a few minutes ago and she looked really angry. Hmm. You know, Helen and Jennifer are really beginning to look like sisters, aren't they? I guess that's what happens when you live together. I, I guess so. One mustn't let their personal feelings get in the way. Jennifer is nothing more than another research subject. How familiar am I with this game? Not at all. Um, I only know about the character selection thing, really. Uh, yes, yes, you're right. How's this? Sizzleman's rubber mask. A kind sold in cheap. Novelty shops and seems to be fairly popular. How have I been doing? Pretty good. People certainly buy stupid things. Professor, a newspaper reporter is here. Did you have an appointment for an interview? It's about the clock tower murders, isn't it? Oof. I guess they want to sensationalize this scissor man who really doesn't even exist. The mask is right there. There's a man. Uh, it hit something. Uh, just a joke. I don't trust you, Danny. You shouldn't keep the reporter waiting too long. See if she's got anything else to say. I wish I had a cute kid sister. A cute kid brother. Would be okay, too. Okay. Okay. Statue. It is cold. One of the items found at the scene of the clock tower murders. It seems to be hiding some sort of secret. It would be a good idea to get an expert opinion on this. I love when it, like, uh. <laughs> it cuts off the line. Um. <laughs> oh. It kind of magnetizes to different areas when you want to click on things. Someone sending, keeps sending faxes. <laughs> Here's a desk. Clipped out articles of the clock tower story are scattered about. It seems Harris has gone somewhere. Where did Harris go? Alright. Can I move? Oh, I can only move this way. Hello. If I recall correctly, this game will get, for lack of a better term, grindy. Okay. Uh, I don't know what you mean by that. Um, I used to report I was looking for you on the first floor. Oh, thank you. You got anything else? Um, is Jennifer... She's already gone home. Was there something you wanted to see her about? Um, no. He's always so gloomy. He's top-notch, though, that's for sure. But then... Okay. So you can uh, run. Like double tapping. August 10th is Bionicle Day. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Well, actually, I don't have anything planned, but... Uh... 
If you want to see some stuff on Twitter about that. All right. <clears throat> Let's just go to the first floor. This is weirdly quiet, this place. Oh, Professor. I'm the one who called you from the Oslo Weekly News. My name is Nolan Campbell. And this is Tim, my cameraman. It's a pleasure. I'm a bit busy. Please keep it brief. Then I'll get right to the point. Have you been able to figure out what who the murderer is? I can't say... Hey. Hey! I can't say anything for sure yet because the, uh, the victim's testimony lacks... credibility. Oh? Do you mean the victim that's, he that's testifying? That'd be Jennifer Simpson, wouldn't it? Yes, but what about her? Oh, uh, nothing really. It's just that we saw her... leaving a few minutes ago. And since we'd run into her, we asked her for an interview, but she refused. Okay. You just said her testimony lacked credibility. I know what you're going to say. That monster she was talking about, the Scissor Man. And whether he really exists or not. That's it. That's right. That is what our readers want to know. Because the existence of the Scissor Man has become a symbol of terror among youngsters. Have I played Night Cry? No, I don't believe so. Yes, and that's because trashy gossip magazines like yours have sensationalized the whole thing. Oh, so hi, you back? How's it going? Welcome on in. Oh, goodness, I'm missing lines. Not much I can say to that. All right. Well, let's start from the conclusion. It's fact that there were, was a murderer who used a giant pair of scissors as his murder weapon. But that doesn't make him into an immortal monster. We're just dealing with some odd screwball. What about what she said? She was scared. How many fours do you need? She thought she saw something. No, oh, I see, but... Okay, that's it. Interview's over. There is something I must be attending to. Ah, well, okay, I understand. Thank you very much. Sorry I couldn't be as much help as you'd hoped. I have to get back to the lab. I'm expecting another survivor of the clock tower. Murders. He's supposed to be a young boy about ten years. Old. Wait a minute, a young boy of about 10 years. Night Cry is by the same creator as Clock Tower and as a guy with giant scissors as well. You know, if you like to talk about guys with giant like write about guys with giant scissors, then uh, you know, I guess that's that's your calling, and you, you gotta you gotta run with it. <laughs> it's a unique weapon. Hey, Mulligal. Giant Chairs also appear in Resident Evil 7. Oh. Hello. You're looking rather ominous stood there. Professor, the boy that survived the clock tower murders is here. That's, that's very ominous. Oh, has he arrived already? Yes, he's waiting in the therapy room. I, I have a bad feeling about this. Considering I'm pretty sure Barton's not the main character, uh, this is this is not looking good for him. There's still something I need to do in here. Is there now? Let me look at this. Oh, that's right. I still need to get an expert opinion on this statue. I should probably ask Professor Sullivan, the head librarian of the Metropolitan Library. Yes, but. There's that old butler at the Barrows mansion named Rick. 
I'll show it to him first and see if he knows anything. I'm pretty sure he, has, he lives in the suburbs. I could ask Harris to show it to him. Ask Harris. Yes, no. Oh, oh, we have de decisions. Let's go with yes. All right, I'll ask Harris to show it to Rick. Harris, would you take this statue and show it to a man named Rick? <laughs> Just any man named Rick. Doesn't matter which one, as long as it's a Rick. Is that the statue that was at the scene of the murders? No. Yes, it is. Would you ask him if he knows anything about it? Yes, I'll go and ask him on my way home this evening. Very good, thank you. Okay, that's that. I should probably go to the therapy room. Thank you very much for coming. How do you do? I'm an instructor, instructor at the Granite Orphanage. I am Edward's guardian. Edward? I thought he completely lost all his memory. From the shock. If anything, if, if anything I know about this game, you need to remember this part. Okay. Call him Edward because not having a name to go by makes things very difficult. Uh huh. Now, since this is our first day, you will will you answer some simple questions for me? Okay, Edward. And I want you to honestly tell me everything you remember about what ha happened. Uh, yes. Well then, let's get started. Specifically, that Harris got the statue. Okay. Data save. Uh, let's go. Oh, here we go. I'll also do a save state. Simply because. There we go. Helen isn't home yet. I think I will go out for a while. Where shall I go? Um, okay. Uh, Oslo Weekly Newspaper. Norway in Total. Municipal Library. Universal Research. Blush. Um, okay, we, can, we have a lot of choices of where to go. Uh, I, am, I, I, I think the library sounds fun. Should we go to the library? Metropolitan Library. It was mentioned in the, in the last bit. Helen's mentor, Mr. Sullivan, is the head librarian. Municipal library. Yeah, it takes place in Norway. <clears throat> uh, hold on. Headphones caught in the scarf. Uh, hello, Jennifer. Did you come to check out a book? Or something? Yes, Mr. Sullivan. You're as cute as ever. How is Helen? She's 15, Mr. Sullivan. Uh, she's fine. Something else. Uh, I see. Oh, by the way, I've added to my collection again. Do you want to come see? It's quite a collection of archaeological value. Uh, no, no, thank you. It would take a long time. Goodbye, Mr. Sullivan. Well, drop in for a visit any time. Okay. That's all that was. <clears throat> Uh, we've also got the Norway in total. Uh, Oslo Weekly. Universal Staff House saying, let's, let's go with the uh, Oslo Weekly newspaper. I went to the newspaper office. I would just be chased by... Okay. Oh, what did she say? Oh, she doesn't want to go there. Okay. Oh, that's right. Edward is supposed to be here. I wonder what kind of boy he is. Norway International Hotel. You can tell it's Norwegian because the flag is on the awning. 
<clears throat> Is this boy Edward? Are you by chance Jennifer? Yes, I'm Jennifer. I thought so. I recognize your face from all the pictures in the paper. Oh, my name is Kay. I'm an instructor at the Granite Orphanage. The Granite Orphanage? Yes, but I began after you left. Is he? Yes, he is Edward. Say hello, Edward. Uh, hello. Hello, Edward. How do you do? Jennifer, Edward has lost his memory from the shock of what happened. Yes, I've heard. You were also involved, weren't you? Speaking with you might jog his memory. I was hoping you'd be able to come visit, Edward. <clears throat> Please. Yes, that would be fine. I will come as often as I can. Well, I must be going. Oh, I'm so sorry for keeping you. See you again soon, Edward. Bye-bye. All right. Uh, university staff housing. University personnel housing. I live here with Helen. No one would be there if I went home now, though. Okay, then. I'll go see Helen. Okay, we're going to see Helen. She should still be in her lab. University research bludge. The loading screen screams evil. There's a, lo a lot of PS1 loading screens do have a very dark vibe. You know? It's just, that's just the way it is, I guess. Oh, hello, Jennifer. What's up? No, nothing much. I just came for a little visit. Oh, really? I'm going to be a bit late tonight. You go ahead and eat without me. Are you busy? My hard drive crashed and lost all my data. I've got to get it restored tonight. Oh, I see. Please leave the key in its usual place. Okay, I will. Good luck, Helen. Where's the usual place? That's the question. Uh, well, I guess in that regard, now we have to go back home. Huh? Someone is in front of the house. Oh, that's... Hi, Clon. How are you doing? University staff housing. This is a very quiet game so far. I imagine it's it's gonna it's gonna kick in now once uh once uh, what's his face turns up. Sizzaman. Hello. You're the reporter that came to the university. Yesterday, aren't you? Oh, please, call me Nolan. I have been collecting information on the Clock Tower murders. Case. For a long time now. Even though it is a really big case, very little of the truth is understood. As a reporter, I simply can't leave it alone. Yes, the truth. And I am interested in you, too. Please clarify. Hey, what do you say to having dinner with me? Please clarify! I don't care what you tell me. I just want you to talk. Are you asking me for an interview or a date? Nolan, she's 15. Uh, well, uh... Your nicked mate. That's it, both. Nolan! Oh my god. I don't like this guy. I don't, I don't trust him. Jennifer, no! Get out of there! Scenario 1. It's very late. Oh, that is misunderstood. <laughs> Someone seems to be following me. Oh. Oh. 
it have does it have the music in this game? That don't 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 don't. Oh, is it like a different song? Oh, hello. What's wrong? Help! Someone is following me. Hmm. Some kind of weirdo. Uh, yeah. Oh, there he is. Goodness, he turned up quickly. Uh, right. You're right. 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 Hold on. Uh. Uh, 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 go, 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 go. That happened, that happened way faster than I anticipated. Oh, God. Open the door. Oh, no. Um. We're off to a great start. No. <laughs> Okay. Right. That. Mm -hmm. We're dead. <laughs> Continue, please. Um. Right. How is he coming from that side? Go in the cubicle. Do you know who ate all the donuts? I don't know who ate all the donuts. Thank you for the 25 bits. Bend him off! Oh god! My goodness. Right, so we're off to a great start. I just hit him with a broom. <laughs> I'm here to clean your clock. Oh, hold on, what's this? Can I interact with this? Game was Alien Isolation before Alien Isolation. I've, I've heard that, actually, yeah. I'm not checking the memory card. Let's just do some saves. Take his time to check the memory card. I gave it that much. Uh, let's just uh, use this one. I will also save state. Just to make sure I have a backup plan, if need be. I guess now we just have to run around. If we get to smash the action button to evade. Yeah, I I, uh, I, I read about that one already. So, the action button's square, isn't it? Oh. Oh my goodness. I think she's all right. Everything seems normal. That's the left one, isn't it? Well, somebody died there. That's good to know. Blood all over her hand. Huh? Controlling the curse with the D-pad must be a pain. It's honestly not that bad. It's not like as good as a mouse, obviously, but uh, it kind of adds to the panic, you know? Danny's desk. There are several trading cards and small toys. This game is compatible with the PlayStation mouse. Oh, it makes sense. 
There's desk. There are stuffed animals and a spray can. Kind of mace. Oh, can I have it? How do I take it? Let me have it. <clears throat> yeah, the, the cursor does get pulled towards interactables. You can see it, like, it kind of just magnetizes in. Like, if I go to the side here, that, see, and it just gets pulled towards the computer. Alan's desk. It's very neatly uh, something. There is a key. You now have the off key. So also, if you can take something, it'll, t it'll be taken automatically. I feel like you should take the mace. I'm going to be honest with you. I think that might be handy in this situation. Domestic and international criminal records. This is Professor Barton's desk. Is Professor Barton okay? There is a telephone. It's dead. It's open. Hmm. I've had it with laying on this bed. The patient's chart to collect it here. The scissors are gone, of course they are. There are many bottles of medicine. Cheap table. Well... It's been it's been a long time since I actually played the the first game, so I don't actually uh, I can't remember a lot of the details of it. It was like 20, 2019, I think, when I when I played the the SNES one on stream. Oh, this vault is still there, uh, but it has been a while. Can I go this way? Fire extinguisher, that looks handy. Mori Kunas. No one seems to be here, the door is locked. Uh oh. Oh god. Oh god. Take that! Uh, this way then, okay. We're going in there, sure. I feel like this is a bad idea. The creeper from Scooby Doo. That's a that's a good comparison, actually. Okay, I think I think you can use the mace if he comes in here. All right. I feel like I haven't really made any progress yet. <laughs> okay, save complete. Kind of the, if it's like the, the the first game, then he kind of tends to like spawn in randomly, right? Like every now and then he'll like show up, or if he complete a certain event, he'll show up. Book Tower LP was October 2019. That's what I thought. Yeah. There's then anything that seems useful. 
There are academic journals on the shelf. These look really boring. No idea how anyone's supposed to have figured this game out if they haven't been told. Oh, good. <laughs> well, worst comes to worst, I'll, I'll, I'll look up a walkthrough or rely on chat or something. Various documents on the desk. I'm guessing I can hide in these. The fax tone rings. Hello? Okay. It's just a scan of the Sizzleman's ass. <laughs> get ready, I'm coming to get you. Oh my goodness. Hide in here. There'd be no There's nothing inside that would be useful. What? What are these doing here? A pair of underpants is hanging up to dry. There's some handbags and umbrellas. Not a lot of slasher video games. Yeah! This is quite interesting. And these are these are very much like a slasher uh, sort of like homage, which is really cool. Hello, you have reached Helen. I'm not home right now, but please leave a message after the tone. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> so this is about the time to send a fax. <laughs> yeah. Is that does sound the same from Resident Evil? I mean, it might be. Uh, probably could be sharing the same sort of stock library or something. Is there a dead person in this one? I thought Sesame was in there. Then why did you open it? I think. See, now I know why they make it so quiet. Because when when the scissor man does appear, uh, it it all kicks in and it's uh and it kind of shocks you. <laughs> Door is still locked. It's locked. It's quiet until uh. A little scissor guy arrives. Men's lounge is written on the door. There's that with the signs is unnerving there, just the footsteps and clatter of doors. Yeah, definitely. Some cosmetics are on the table. There is something written here. You just given hint number three. How do I look at my hints? I have, I have, apparently I'm finding them. I found hint one and three, but I don't know what that means. Strony campus is lit by streetlights. The campus is creepy with everyone gone. There's no one walking around outside. Man menu is the hint screen. Oh, okay. Bunk beds for napping. Helen must take naps here when it gets late.
Bunk beds. No one is used. Oh god. Uh Take this! And it won't open. Go, go, go! mechanically within the game code? That's a good question. Go! 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 Oh my god. I'm dead. She wouldn't look at the lockers. Yeah, I'm dead. I was hoping to hide in the lockers or something, but it just I couldn't quite get to uh, click on them. Okay. All right. All right. Can I hide under here? Oh God. Alright, that works, that works. It doesn't really feel like I've, I've done anything as of yet. Ladder. It's like a file ladder. It's locked, so I guess it can't be used in an emergency either. <clears throat> Door to the rooftop. It's locked and won't open. Okay. Guess we need to find keys. Have I explored everything here? I go over to this side. I don't know if I did. I can't remember. No, I haven't seen this. Okay. Plain, simple table. There isn't anything that might be useful. Personal computer. I might break it if I touch it. There is some tools here. I wonder if it's being repaired. I 
a plain colored curtain. It's very dirty. Personal computers in the table. I'm not very good at computers. Okay. There really seems to be a lot interesting here in this particular room. I mean, we got a key from um, Helen's desk, didn't we? But, like... It kind of feels like I'm just wandering around. Oh. Don't think I've been here. Dead body, isn't it? Excuse me. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I had a feeling that's what would happen. A key on the table. What is this? You now have the ladder key. Oh, I know how to take that. There's a partition. Isn't the like, I mean, it's probably more than one. I'm pretty sure there's, like, a, there's an old slasher movie that does that exact sort of um, uh, like scene where someone's like, excuse me, like on, a, on like a dead body and the head falls off. I'm pretty sure there's a classic slash that does that, but I, I'm fairly certain it's probably been done a million times as well. Is it safe? I guess it has to be. It's a rope ladder. Okay, that wasn't what I was expecting. The same sound effect. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a perfect cut by the system, and he also placed the head gently on top. <laughs> Escaped. Scenario one cleared. I guess we were making progress. <clears throat> Intriguing. What the fuck is going on? We haven't even solved the last case yet, and now another mass murder? And again, you're saying that the murderer is a monster? But it's true. I can already see this. See tonight's headlines. Says a man is back. Well, whether he exists or not, you should go home now. And rest. Did they actually censor the swearing in the game? Uh, yeah, apparently. They've posted a policeman outside your house. So you'll be safe. Well, until he loses his head, you know. Thank you, Inspector. That's Assistant Inspector. All right. This guy downplays himself a little bit. <laughs> Actually, I'm an insubordinate. Thank you. Hey, Days. Jennifer. Helen, it's true. It was the Scissor Man. I know. I believe you, Jennifer. He's just being stubborn. I heard that, Teach. Anyway, if it is him, I have to figure out some way... To destroy him. Oh, wow, okay. 
We can do it. Yes. All right. What should I do now? Uh, good question. Let's check out. Police station? I will go see the inspector. I think I was just here, wasn't I? Um, I guess we'll just try pretty much everything until we need to go home or what have you. Oh, you're still here. You should go home before it gets dark. Don't forget your key. All right, that was that. I need to get Rockman so he can defeat Scissorman. <laughs> I wonder what Nolan is doing. Oslo Week Newspaper Company. Blood and guts go on go galore, but you better not swear. This is the man. This man is the cameraman who is with Nolan. Hi. Excuse me, is Nolan here? Hey, you're Jennifer. Yes, I am. Is Nolan here? Nolan? I uh, just went to look for you. He's worried about you. Oh, he is? He should be back in a bit. But I don't think you should wait here. Why not? Well, you're hot stuff again. She's 15. And if the other reporters find you, they'll ask you questions till uh, cows come home. Oh, hot as in, like... Okay. Fair enough. I still don't like the phrasing. I'll leave the back door open for you, so try not to be seen when you come in. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I wonder if Edward and Kay were attacked by... Scissorman. Uh, is it the Scissorman or just Scissorman? Scissorman? Like a superhero name, Scissorman? Yeah, hot, I was thinking, yeah, hot is in the context of crime or news. Still not necessarily good uh, good phrasing. Especially when Nolan has already asked Jennifer out on a date. I know that there is, I know there is no one here. Oh, and that's it. Okay, that was the only thing that happened there. Um, municipal library. There's no reason to go to the library. Okay. I wonder if Helen is here. Oh, hi, Jennifer. I came just in time. I was just on my way out. Where are you going? Do you remember that statue? The one they found at the scene of the clock tower murder? Yes, what about it? I can't find it anywhere. Professor Barton had it. Hmm. You got it sent to Rick. And Professor Barton was called away on some police business. Do you have any idea where it might be? Yes, I found some telephone numbers on the professor's desk. One for the library and one for a man named Rick. I think he must have taken it to one of them. It was to Rick. He did mention to me that he would like to get an expert opinion of the statue. Damn, even by 1996, this game still looks so ugly to me. Is that weird? Oh, sorry. Oh, I don't know who this Rick person is, though. I see. Okay. I mean, 1996, uh, a lot of the 3D like characters were kind of... Um, they didn't necessarily look great, but I, I don't think this is too bad for 96, actually. Considering, you know, uh, I think, I think, you know, 96, uh, you're looking at, um, like, Quake, uh, for, like, 3D models, that sort of era. It, it was all very chunky, and for this, this kind of looks, like, vaguely real, uh, so it, I think it works pretty well. Maybe it's, I don't, maybe it's just me. Anyway, I'll go to the library to see Mr. Sullivan. If the statue is there, I've got to get it. I want anything and everything relating to Scissorman. Yes. Helen, I'll find out who this Rick person is. Maybe Nolan knows something about him. Jennifer? Yes? 
Who is Nolan? Uh, <clears throat> well, I better run along now. Yeah, he's, uh, he's the soon-to-be boyfriend who will also soon to be in jail. Um, I, I hope Nolan is there. It's a good thing the, um, the newspaper company is right next to the police station. Jennifer, are you all right? Yes, thank you. The police didn't want to tell me much, so I had a hard time finding you. I think Tomb Raider looks better. I don't know. It's about the same, I think. Do you know a man named Rick? I think he's involved with, in the Clock Tower case. I was just going to interview him. Really? He used to be a butler for the Barrows family. I ran into someone who happened to know that. I thought I'd go ask him what, it, what he knew about the Barrows family. What about him? Well, Professor Barton might have given the statue to him. What happened to Barton? You mean the one they found at the scene of the murder? Yes, I want every little clue relating to this case. Okay, I should get the statue from him. Or should I get the statue from him? Uh, all right, I'll go see him and get it. Well, do you want to ask Nolan? Ooh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little save state here. Uh, hmm, do we want to ask Nolan? Hmm. What do people think? So I don't think it'd be a bad thing to have for him to to have it, but at the same time, I don't really know if I need to. I still think it's the butler. Opinions? Yes, no. <laughs> Trust that Peter. <laughs> because we know he's in it to Rick. Yeah, I, I think so. I, I, I don't trust Nolan, but we do know that Rick has it, so I'm going to say yes. You can count on me. Thank you, Nolan. The sooner I do it, the better, right? I'll go now, then. Now loading. Scenario 2, Nolan Campbell. Oh, are we playing as no one? Oh my. How's the game going? Uh, pretty well so far. We've got through the first scenario, and now we're in the second one. So I guess I guess Sizzleman's going to chase uh, no one through this house or something. Oh, I see. Is that what it was? Yes. If you have any idea, please tell me. I'm looking for any clue, no matter how insignificant. Hmm. Nolan, do you know of a castle called Barrows Castle? Is it another Barrows place? Barrows Castle? Yes, it's a castle in England. Then, before the Barrows family moved? Yes, that is what I have heard of 80 years ago. There's something in the castle? A monster was once born that there that terrorized the local children. Just like Scissorman. I had thought it a fairy tale. Well, what happened to the monster? <laughs> the notes are quite funny. He was killed by his father. His father was the head of the household. It was the head. Of his father was the head of the household of the 13th generation of Barrows. That's a hard sentence for some reason. And there is a way of defeating Scissorman. <laughs> the awkward silence between them. So, uh... Well, then. Rick, do you know where this castle is? 
Give me a moment, please. I'm sure that somewhere there is... He's gonna die. He's gonna get scissorman like any moment now. Like he's gonna go, I know where the thing is, and then he's just gonna meet. Oh, you he, know, he, the chandelier! Nolan, I was given this chandelier as a farewell present when I retired. I think you're gonna be retiring so from life in a moment. The mansion. Yes, what wonderful times they were, except for. <laughs> yep, <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> Farewell present from life. <laughs> All right, here we go. I actually really, really love these sequences. It's just, it's just, there's just something about them that's just really, really cool. Like, especially in like a point and click format. Some kind of cooking utensil. Nothing here that can be used as a weapon. Okay, let's save. A well-kept kitchen counter. It sure is a lot different than mine. Please, Nolan. A guy just got crushed by a chandelier. Garbage pail. It's very unique. I don't know a lot of horror point and clicks that have chase scenes. Yeah. I think it's quite unusual. So, okay, I said something else. Something's written on it. This is the location of Barrow's Castle. You now confirmed the location of the Barrow's Castle. Oh, what the hell? Get out of there! Oh, okay. I think I threw some salt at it, and it, and, and it, yeah, okay. Well, that, that worked. I just kind of grabbed the nearest thing and panicked. <laughs> Which I suppose is what you do in that situation anyway. Man, that old man is really flattened, isn't he? Oh no. Ah! Oh crap. Um right. Now, there's something I've heard about this game is that you can't use the same hiding place twice. Uh so Don't bother me, I'm showering. This is the 
man is much lankier in this one, isn't he? I actually wonder if it's like... If it's like a sort of... Um, oh, which, which, which Friday the 13th is it where uh, Jason's a copycat killer? Um, I can't remember which one it is. It's like, it's like, uh, it's like Friday the 13th 4 or something, or 3. But there's definitely one of them where, like, it's a, it's a copycat killer uh, instead of Jason. I wonder if it's the same kind of deal in this. The bathroom sink. There is a toothbrush and other daily toiletries. It's going to save. The game is actually quite lenient with the continues. Uh, like, it just pretty much plops you back to where you were when you if you die. Which is pretty cool. I, I kind of appreciate that. <laughs> just need Dwayne Johnson. Rock beat scissors. Studio audience loved it. Uh, Friday the 13th, a new uh, beginning. It's part five. Ah, okay. That's a loud door. It's also very dark in here. A chest that is not used. It still looks fairly new. There's some laundry inside. It's like a baseball bat. Oh, we'll be able to use that if he turns up. Box is full of canned goods. I think Scissorman is in here. You think so? I thought he might have been. Actually, what's this? There's some det detergent and cleaning supplies. This could be used to blind someone. You now have the powder soap. Okay. I can see that coming in handy. Here, is this like a window or something? Okay. Mm -hmm. We need to get upstairs, actually. There's a stone statue. I wonder what kind of statue it is. Out back, Rick's dog is glaring at me. The dog is looks mad with bad teeth and saliva. I wonder what's wrong with him. Well, his owner just got crushed by a chandelier. That's not going to help. Many dishes of elegant design. Um, which is the, this is the dolly one, isn't it? Because the other one's the kitchen. You know, I just had a thought. This would be a really fun way to make a uh, a, like a, a Doctor Who game. Um, like, if you're playing as, like, a companion and, like, running from, like, a Dalek or something. That, I feel like that'd be a really, really fun concept. It's like trying to find ways out, like, desperately escaping. Uh, what's in this door? There's a trash can. There's nothing useful in here. Return with pizza. Nice. Seems to be something inside. Well, what is it? A statue. Ah. There's a statue about 30 centimeters tall. So this is the statue Jennifer was talking about. It feels cold. You now have the statue. That's all for this place. It's probably gonna, he's probably gonna come for me, isn't he? Oh, okay. Nothing useful. 
I saw a bed. Doctor and Kofani get separated while the Doctor is trying to fix the TARDIS and dealing with the current situation. Yeah. I mean, if you wanted it to be like a sort of uh, a sort of melee kind of monster, you could go with like a Cyberman as well or something. That would work. Um, like a Cyberman, like sort of like maybe it's like a, a slightly broken down Cyberman. It's just kind of shambling towards you. That'd be really cool and scary. Oh, interesting. Just makes a noise. This must be... Yeah, this is the room it links to. If I unlock that, now I can uh, go in and out from that area. Right, cool. Open to the path for me. Path of escape. This is a really old TV. No remote control or anything. Cut out newspaper articles are on the table. They're all about yesterday's incident. Just as I thought, he must have known something about the scissor man. All those crunchy PS1 soundtracks. I know, they're so good. A flower vase. What's this? A notice stuck between the pages. You have discovered hint number six. Oh, well, there it is. We've missed a few hints for sure. The frame is protruding from the wall a bit. I wonder if there's something behind there. Oh. There's nothing here. Oh. That led me on a little bit. What about this one, though? A portrait. It looks famous. Okay, we can't look behind that one, apparently. I saw it with a stylish pattern. Okay. Is there anything further along? Nope, that looks like it. Okay, then. Save completed. An umbrella stand. It will not open. Is he trying to lock me in? It's a good question. Is he? In which case, how do we get out then? Maybe by the back door. I guess like the scenarios just kind of get what you need and get out. And also don't die at the scissor man. <laughs> Don't get killed by the dog. That's a cute dog. <laughs> he's about like, uh... <laughs> he only has a few polygons, but he's still very cute. 
Are you a good boy? No, don't alert him. Wait. Don't alert him. Oh, God. Not a good boy. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, I guess that was going to happen. Um... <laughs> I kind of saw it coming. Uh, but... <laughs> Cujo. <gasps> it is him. It's Cujo. Um, Alright. Don't pet the dog. Instead. Hold on. Instead. Throw powdered soap at the dog. Here, take this. Oh, that feels so... <laughs> Why did that work? That's so mean. I feel bad. <laughs> I can't believe that was actually the solution. All right. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'll take it. Um... That's the second time recently when playing an adventure game, I've done something horrible as a joke, and it's actually been the puzzle solution. The other time was in Mobius, when I used uh, the knife, because I thinking, ah, I'll threaten her with a knife, and it actually did happen, and I was like, oh, oh, that's mean. <laughs> I didn't want to do that. Uh... I mean, to be fair, the dog would have killed us, so, and you... You have seen how it happens. Hold on, I wonder if you found the statue all right. I like how sometimes it just it just gives you like uh like a very a short scene in like in a, in a place and then it's like that's it. You have like one line. What's this place? That's Rick's house. Okay. Well, I guess let's go to Oslo Weekly. <laughs> forget the knife moment. I know. I I can't forget it. Call me off guard. <clears throat> Nolan, are you all right? Yes, this man was after me. What? He hasn't made the news yet, but Rick was killed. Nolan just got through being questioned by Inspector Guts. My Guts. Yes, he was almost convinced that I was the murderer. I'm so sorry, Nolan. You were in danger because of me. Or in danger. One word. Everything is okay now, though, so don't worry. Here, this is the statue, isn't it? It was in Rick's home. Thank you. Also, I discovered the location of a castle. The Barrow's Castle. Maybe there is a connection. The Barrow's Family Castle? Uh, I think the castle is in England. Do you want to go? Yes, maybe we can discover something about Sisman. We must find some kind of clue. Maybe. That's where Sisman was born. Sisman's birthplace. Oh no, it was a, it was the Barrow's estate in the first game, but this is a different place. It's the Barrow's castle where they moved from uh, to the to, to the mansion in the first game. Right, I'll tell Guts. Got guts too, otherwise he will really think I'm a murderer. <clears throat> Did we go to tell guts then? I wonder if the inspector is in. Police station. I ain't talking about this as a man like he's Dracula or something. I guess he's kind of a similarly mythical figure in this world. I heard Sizzleman's back. The media is gonna jump all over it again. Hey, there's Barton. This is indeed an interesting case. I would love to see the Sizzleman. Would you now? Hmm. Inspector Gotts, I'm going to England. It's Assistant Inspector. Are you going there to study? No, not really. There is a castle in England called the Barrow's Castle. If I go there, maybe I'll be able to learn something about Scissorman. The Barrows Castle. So that is where the Barrows used to live before they immigrated to Norway. I 
think so. That sounds rather interesting. I will accompany you as well. Hold on a sec, Prof. What about the case? Me too, Jennifer. You're an important witness in the case. You can't just traipse off like that. And come with us. Huh? Let's all go on a trip together. There must be some reason as to why the murderer disguises himself as... Scissorman. We might learn why by investigating the Barrow's history. Hmm. Hmm. All right, Prof. I'll go. But what am I going to say to my boss? No need to worry. You will be a hero if the case is solved. As long as I ain't made a goat. I don't know if anyone else picked up picked up on something there, but there was something that the Barton said that seemed very suspicious. Barton specifically said that the murderer was disguising themselves as Scissorman. Why did he say that? And he was very eager to join in the trip. Working theory, Barton is so obsessed with the scissor man uh, that he's become a copycat killer. That's my theory. That's the working theory right now. I mean, the guy even had the scissors on on his desk, right? Like, like as a monument to him. That's weird. I'm just saying. I should tell Edward and Kay. <clears> Hell, <throat> you could even be promoted and get a green ascot. So, like, as of, as of right now, evidence, he's lankier. Sister Man's lankier. Barton says, mentioned the disguise thing. Weird. And the fact that he's such a, a fan of Sister Man. I think we are, maybe it's a red herring, I don't know. I think we're getting close to discovering the secret to Sister Man. <clears throat> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Ah, my throat today. Yes, there is a castle in England called the Barrows Castle. And the Barrows used to live there. I see. Hello, Chris. How's it going? That's a Scissorman's home. So Helen and I are going to England to investigate the castle. You are? Is that a good idea? Well, it may be dangerous, but I'll go with you, Jennifer. Everyone wants to come with what? Edward, don't be ridiculous. But if we don't do something, he'll probably kill us too. Hmm. Maybe, may I go with you, Jennifer? Okay, I'll tell Helen. Or I'll go to England. Oh dear. Oh, I think the, the bottom is still cut off slightly of my... Oh, it's because it's... Uh... Hold on. Yeah, it is. Can I move it across, please? Uh... Oh. That'll do. <clears throat> Couple of little black lines never hurt anybody. Um, all right, where was this one again? That's the municipal library. I guess we'll. Uh, oh, library's closed today. Interesting. Uh, I guess we'll go to here. <clears throat> oh, Jennifer, I heard you're going to the Barrow's Castle in England. How do you know that? That guy Nolan told me. Maybe decided we'll go with you too. You have? This is a good chance to see a castle. And it sounds like fun. I guess they're bringing everyone in. So they can kind of keep... <coughs> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> kind of keep the reveal of the killer like a, like a secret. They want to have as many options as possible. So if all the possible culprits uh, come along... 
then uh, then you know it keeps the options open. Like seriously, everybody's just like, "I'll come with you too. I'd love to go on a trip to England. I'll just drop everything and come with you." There's no time to go home. Did I read that wrong? <laughs> Working in my scissor man cosplay. <clears throat> no one is here. Oh, and that's it. <laughs> Rick's house. I guess uh, now I'll just go back here. Helen might be here. I'll come with you. I love being killed by scissormen. Yeah, they might all be. I mean, they probably to go to like somewhere on a whim. They probably have to have a bit of money stashed up. Now we have a clue about scissor. Yes, but we don't know anything for sure yet. There are now ten people going to England. <laughs> I know, right? Some of them think this is going to be a picnic. We're we'll leaving the first flight in the morning. Like a last minute as well. I've already arranged for a rental car. I hope we can find a way to destroy him, Jennifer. Me too. Oslo Airport. How many scenarios does this game even have? Because I've cleared two and they weren't that long. And then most of the other stuff is just like chatting to people. No, oh, here we go. Da, 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 da. Oh, it's in London. Mm. Oh, dangerous in the dark. Let's camp here. Camp? In the woods? With the scissormen? Now, here's the thing. I don't think you'd be able to get those scissors through airport security. Teach, have you seen Harris and Edward? Kay is looking all over for them, but she can't find them anywhere. <clears throat> oh, no. Jennifer is missing, too. He can't be missing. The castle, hurry. That's definitely how London looks, you know? Last scenario. Last scenario. Wow. This is a short game, isn't it? You know Don't be afraid, Jennifer. It's me, Harris. Harris? Harris? I feel like I skipped a step. Don't worry. I'll help you now. Where are we? Where is everyone? Well, I'm sorry. Did, did I miss something? He told me. He told me that if I kidnap you, he will give you to me. He told me to dress up like Scissor Man and kill people. Well, I thought it was Barton. Apparently, Taras. Jennifer. No, no, don't come any closer. <gasps> Wait. Oh. Oh. Two scissor men. I feel like that. Did this game have like cut content or something? Because I feel like there's an entire chapter of the game that I've missed. Like we just cut to Jennifer is kidnapped and also Harris is the scissorman. What? Huh? I thought we were gonna wait to reveal something a twist like that. Oh, 
Um, can I go back in there? I have saved, so. I want to see what else is in that room. Priest robes, the color is completely faded. Uh huh? There is something in the pocket. You have the stair key. Excellent. I love a good stair key. Not the Virgin Mary, but something is very wrong. How spooky. Okay. Maybe there's an explanation in another scenario. Yeah, true. Several strangely shaped uh, somethings. I didn't read that bit. What were they used for? An old tattered Bible. Okay. Graham, watch Hello? out! A poisonous snake! Thank you for the hundred bits. Maybe there could be a poisonous snake. Who knows? Um, I'll check in here again. Maybe Harris's body has something. This is the kind of game where I repeat play playthroughs is encouraged. Yeah, I get it. I mean, I won't be planning to do the one myself, but maybe I'll do the other scenario at, at some point in the future. Well, just books from many different countries. Also, the, the corpse is missing. I don't like to read. Oh, okay. Jennifer was elected to lead, not to read. Are there poisonous snakes in the UK? Uh, there's adders. Many books are stacked up. Large, thick books. Just looking at these gives me a headache. Yeah, ad adders uh, aren't, like, aren't even that like common. I've never seen one. You, but you can find them in like the... Um, in... Uh, oh, what's this? I know it's stuck between the books. It's written in a foreign language. Maybe Helen or Professor Barton can read it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but adders aren't that much of a threat. Like, they, they, you don't see them often. Uh, and even so, if you get bitten by one, it's like it's a rare circumstance anyway. A foreign note. We have black adder. That's also true. Need to rewatch black adder. It's been a, it's been a number of years since I watched uh, any of them. Whoa, a chapel. Looks different from the ones I know. I did hear one story though, a few years back, a kid fell off a cliff and then got bit by an adder at the bottom. Just to add insult to injury? Good grief. Yeah, definitely not his lucky day. Like, imagine falling off, like, a cliff and surviving, only to get bitten by a snake. It's like, come on, really? This is really atmospheric. That fresco doesn't look right. Everyone's a critic. Cover play on the wall. There are stars shown on the plate. You now have star plate. Where am I carrying that? <laughs> if he survived, then that must be a very lucky day for him. That's true. Is it? Is it that he was very lucky or very unlucky? That's the that's the question in that. Oh no! Is that guts? Jennifer, you're still alive. <laughs> Are you? Inspector Guts! Thank heaven, you're alright! It's Assistant Inspector. <laughs> he always has to correct. <laughs> Inspector Guts! It's assistant, <laughs> please. I'll go and look for the others. It's assistant, Inspector. Anyway, be careful. It doesn't sound like he's dying. It sounds like he's just kind of like taking a nap. What's that? Large candle is on the floor. You now have the candle. Cool. Save completed. A Q 
keyhole. I wonder if I can use my uh, stair key with it then. A staircase? I wonder where it leads. Oh, well then. Let me just have a little inspect of things first. <laughs> Blood and guts. Instruments of torture. They look painful. Did guts get gut by the tortured machines? Instruments of torture. The black stains must be blood. Could be oil. You don't know. Oh, oh there's stuff there. I guess there must be weapons you can use. And we're crawling. Oh. I love the... Uh, a bit crunchy shuffle noises. This room isn't like any of the others. Oh, yeah, the, the, the FBS is, is definitely uh, on the low side in this game. I kind of I kind of dig it though. It's got a, it's kind of stylistic. Probably unintentionally, but you know, front is all scratched up. Hmm. Yeah, it's an aesthetic. This room isn't like other girls. Portrait of a beautiful woman. Oh, Jesus, you scared me. Excuse me, excuse me, goodbye. Right, hiding place, hiding place, hiding place. Under the bed. Oh no, it's too low. Uh, in here, in here, in here. Was tense. <clears throat> okay. Small table, everything seems normal. I need to find Barton or, um... Oh, hell, I don't I? Rat. Old, yellowed newspaper. 1912, that's over 80 years ago. Stretch? I will stretch for your belt, yep. <laughs> it's just about, oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, okay. Ugh. Scissorman doing his best uh, Kool-Aid man impression there. My hair is a mess. I've learned my lesson from looking in mirrors. I only do it the once in Clock Tower. <laughs> if I remember correctly, if you do it twice or something in the in the SNES version, like a hand comes up the mirror and strangles uh, Jennifer. Uh, okay, I didn't get a proper good look in here, so let's go back in. I didn't get to look at this, whatever this was. An antique sideboard. What about the thing on top of it? A cosmetics box. It looks very old. Can I look inside it? No? Okay. Check this, uh, this burst through painting. This is, this is, there is a hole where Sizzman jumped out. Can I look through it? No? Okay. <clears throat> Stretching is important where a game where you constantly on edge. That's fair. I will take it. What's this? Interesting noise. A grating. Oh, 
oil painting. Bits of paint have flaked off. All right, let's go down here. This is an important room. Oh, it's dark. Is that a hole? It's too dark, I can't see anything. Okay. Made it all look like a quake level. I could see that. That sort of gothic vibe. First, it could be a quake. Oh! A quake level, though. It probably needs to be more brown, I think. This way. Take your time, Jennifer. Closed. I can't hide in here. Oh no. Can I fit underneath? Uh, can I do s No, I'm dead. Oh, that room is not good. Welcome to the chat, by the way, Purple Nature. First time chair. <laughs> Just trying to give her a haircut. It's a little bit more than a haircut, I think. Let's have it so slightly. Okay. Let me out. Okay, we're going back this way now. The vase! Grab the vase! Watch out! A poison a snake! That did not work! Uh Thank you for the hundred bits by the way, Pango. Slow. Slow but relentless. Like Jason, you know?
think that counts as a win. This game is goofy as hell. Oh, yeah. Definitely got that, uh, that goofy horror vibe. I, I dig that, though. It's a good thing when you defeat him in a room, he despawns. <clears throat> Alright, this is definitely the biggest area, yeah, which makes sense considering it's the last scenario, but, uh, yeah. There's nothing inside. Some dried up goods. Some canned food and swollen, distorted. Cans of food. I guess you can use them to... I get sick if I ate all these. I guess you can use them to kind of just throw up the scissorman. If, uh, if need be. Kitchen counter. Expensive looking plates. They are smashed into pieces. It'd be dangerous to step on them. Because if I don't run around, I don't exactly know where I am now. I think that these doors go to sort of the garden area. This is another bunch of clones headed by Alpha. If one fails to kill you, <laughs> they get deleted from existence. And tracks. I think this goes back to the main hall, isn't it? I'm guessing this is locked up tight. Look at the door at the chapel. It won't even budge. Um, love this game personally. Yeah, it just gets it's charming. Covered with dust. I wouldn't want to sit here. Didn't we have other problems? Portraits are wrong. They seem to be glaring at me. Portraits. All of them look alike. They seem to be portraits of the barrows. I can't remember where I have and haven't been at the moment. Have I been in this little one? I think I had a look in there and it was just uh it was just a bit of a dead end. Yeah. Anything to look at in here? Oh come on. Right as I go into the dead end? Tell us why it's pulse is not. If only there was some kind of clue, like like arts and crafts. Yeah, we'll never know, really, will we? My god! Uh, uh, get up, get up, get up! Oh my goodness! Well then! That's good, I think.
Huh. I think that's good. <laughs> okay. Did not see that coming. That is kind of a safety hazard. Somebody should, uh... Somebody should do something about that. I don't think we've seen the last of this. Ah, oh, it's back here. I don't even know where I'm supposed to be. I think I just need to get out, don't I, really? I think I think my uh, my character's mood is slightly uh, aggravated because my curse keeps going yellow. Won't even budge. Does the stair key work here as well? Looks like a keyhole there. Maybe we need to go back through to the, the sort of tunnel. I think there's some other areas I didn't explore, maybe? You know, do you, you know what I'm saying, like the last game? I don't exactly know how. I can't remember how it works. Oh, I'll come to think of it. I think I think my, uh, I have calmed down because my cursor is back to, back to regular old white. Back up. Actually, I think it was the other room, wasn't it? I think it's uh, this is the room we came in through. Open it, please. <clears throat> I'm curious, fireplace. Inside it is a passage to the chapel. Can I use the passage? I guess not. I guess once you've gone through, that's it. Okay, then I guess we have to just figure out where we need to be, then. I'm not entirely sure. It's got to be an important room that I haven't explored yet, is the, is the main thing. Oh, there's also this whole, whole deal. I need to get some, like, planks or something. I have this thing, the star plate. I don't know what that's about. There must be a way to reopen that big door back to the chapel, I think. Ugh, I've done all this, haven't I? Anything in here? Sturdy wooden cabinet. It's empty. Great. Hold on, what's anything in here? What a big fireplace. There's something there, but no. Um, okay.
Oh, Mr. Barton. When did you get here? It's you, Jennifer. Professor Barton? Uh, could you tell me what this means? Professor Barton, are you all right? I'm not injured. This is an extremely important experience for me. Okay. Because here I am at the site of the murders. A very, very intriguing situation. I'm sure it is. Mm. Can you tell me what this means? Oh, Professor Barton, I found something I would like you to look at. What does this say? Hmm. It is in Latin. Okay. Words to open the door. Okay. Below that is written... Nha e sh... What does it mean? I don't know. It means to open a door, just as it says. But it doesn't say which door. A door? A door, huh? Okay. Covered it with moss, but the water is very clean. <laughs> Diamond is mildly uncomfortable. I, he's just chilling. No one's taking care of these for a long time. The trees and plants are all overgrown. What's that there? Oh, that's nothing. <laughs> so like, you, you see something in like on like the on the floor, and it just turned out to be like a stray polygon of some kind. The dirt of Sizzaman's heart. Um. Am I been here? This is a long corridor. Oh God. He's back. He's back. Um. <laughs> Thought I lost him, but uh, apparently not. Oh god, where can I hide now? Um. Oh no. I forgot this one was not good. He's at that. room. Oh crap, that's not good. Uh. Okay. Well. Uh, he has fallen once more. Look, you only have so many bones in your body, Scissorman. Eventually, I will break them all. <laughs> Don't kill me. Take Mr. Barton instead. <laughs> Second time he's falling into a bombless pit. Well, it goes somewhere. It's just a fun water slide. I wonder if this opens the door. I mean, I doubt it, but... to open it. Um, 
to try this key. I mean, doubt it. But, okay. Um. Hmm. I don't really know where to go. Standing in the club there is true. I never know at this point. room no oh, yeah no I did at one point you think the system I wouldn't think it was worth all the hassle yeah I if I was this man I'd be like oh, I'm done I've fallen in two pits now I can't I'm just dumb out doesn't it reveal by the crit is that the system can teleport uh, I guess that that would make sense books yellowed with age Definitely missing a, something crucial here. I don't quite know what. A pot. Strangely, it isn't rusty. I've explored the upstairs area fully, and I and I've I've opened as as many doors as I can, or I've seen I've seen the doors. I don't know which door this could correspond to. This uh, this text. Unless it's this. This is more of a grating though. It must have a candle. There's really nothing up here, isn't there? Hmm. Definitely confused right now. Let's go in here. And Barton's gone. Yeah. Still kind of suspicious of him, honestly. This is the pantry. I feel like I'm just wandering about. I don't know. How is it say that he promised Jennifer to him? And we still don't know who he is. I think it could be Barton. Oh, for God's sake. Why don't you learn?
That's the door that leads to, like, nothingness. No, it's not, sorry. I'm thinking of a different door. We want to get through this. save state as well because I don't want to use all my potential tools um oh hold on what the oh god do something without it I don't know what he can do Stamp on it. Do something. Excuse me? What was that? There's clearly something I could do there, but I couldn't figure out what it was. The hand man. Um... What even happened? I was strangled by a, a rogue hand. Okay, I clearly didn't look there before. Okay, that means I guess I haven't looked in this. A file draw. Hair is scattered about. Hmm. Right, let's try this again. Let's see what we can do this time. That's it, okay. Okay. There's nothing inside. Great. Good to know. I'm gonna hand it to him, not expecting that. <laughs> Reminds you of the hand from blood. Oh yeah. I swallow your soul. Definitely. Um If anyone uh, has any uh, hints for me right now, by the way, I would accept them because uh, I'm, I feel like I'm just kind of wandering around in circles. But clearly there are some things I missed. Maybe like some different drawers and stuff somewhere. It's, oh, this leads to the sort of the chasm, doesn't it? I wonder if there's anything here that actually does anything. The floor is caved in. Anything else? Hmm. Seen a fireplace anywhere? Oh, I have. I've seen a couple. Hold on. Now that you mention it, there's one. Uh... Oh, I can't remember exactly where. There's one there. That's where I came from. So I think there's one down here. Okay, yeah, here we go. See, I've, I've interacted with it, but there's nothing that's really...
unless... Is that a big firefox? That's the door. No, it's not. What the? What was that? Huh? I'm sorry, what? Oh, oh. That's what that was, okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> I did not know that as well. Maybe that's supposed to happen though. Maybe I need that to happen in order to uh Oh yeah, there's definitely multiple endings to the game. I think it's like 10 endings or something. I don't really mind which one I get. I'll go for the best ending I can, but um, uh, let's go back through here. I think I want to go to the kitchen, actually. Let's do here. Works, I guess. Okay, okay, okay. Metal Gear. <laughs> That's right. Um, yeah, I just don't know where to go. Yeah, I miss. Unless I'm like missing something obvious, like. I have, I have, uh, I have the statue, I have the stair key, I have the star plate, I have the candle, and I have the door spell. I don't really know where to use any of those, though. I'm gonna go back to the fireplace. If I can. Yeah, something definitely moved in that room but just before the uh the scissor man arrived. I don't know what. That was it through here. No. Oh, that's the wrong door. You can use the key where Gox was. Um I already did that. Wrong door. Yeah, I already I already used the key where Gox was to, to open up the stairs, which allowed me to get to here in the first place. table. Uh-huh. I 
None of this is very helpful to me. Uh, uh, hold on, I think I might have a walkthrough up on my on my own phone. I I I, I opened it up preemptively. Uh, yeah, oh, there we go. Um, let's go to scenario three. Um, I think this is the. This might be the Helen walkthrough. Oh no, here we go. Scenario one, Gen Gen uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, no. Nolan, scenario two, Edward. Um, scenario three, Scissor Man. Okay. You walk out of the mansion, and I don't think this is right. Let's take here. Uh, fireplace in the study where you can find a map. Uh, whether you are Helen or Jennifer, the ne same thing happens in the same walkthrough for the mansion, except a little different. Um, incoming? What's happening? A raid coming or something? Okay. Hold on. Clock. Tower. Last. Scenario. Uh, Jennifer. I feel like it's not giving me the right one. Give me the right information here. Um. This is no good. This is no good. Hey, no Steven War! Hey! Welcome on in! I'm just looking up a walkthrough for this game because I'm stuck. How's it going? What were you playing? Um, Clock Tower 1996. Walk through. And thank you for the follow, uh, Blazing Devilify and Breslin PhD. <clears throat> I hope you're well. Um, I'm just trying to find a decent uh, explanation uh, for this. Walkland Raid, nice. Uh, thank you so much, people. Uh, thank you so much for the raid. That's that's incredible. We're at a 49. How are you all doing? Uh, apologies, this is just a pause screen. I'm trying to find out. Uh, <laughs> I'm try trying to figure out this uh, what, what to do in this scenario. If any of you know uh, Clock Tower, uh, specifically um, uh, the PS1 Clock Tower, uh, I'm on the last Jennifer scenario, and I just don't know where to go. So, yeah. Uh, Harris dialogue, exit room. Fair key, okay. Moon to no star panel, okay. Fair key on panel by coffin, go up. Uh huh. Oh. Left door in kitchen, investigate floor panel. Investigate left food shelf for hidden ladder. Oh, something in the kitchen that I missed. Thank you for all the follows, by the way, people. Uh, Buffy Dancers and Titus by 85. Thank you so much for the follow there. Um, I need to find. Oh well, I'm I'm just uh, trying to find my way in uh, in Clock Tower <laughs> at the moment. Probably there's something I missed in the kitchen. Where the hell was the kitchen? Is it this door? No, it's not that door. Other side, I think. Actually, no, I don't think it's that side. Am I joining Weird for GTA tomorrow? No, I, I don't really uh, enjoy GTA Online, honestly. So I will I will decline for that. Uh, is it here? This is this is the. Uh...
This is what I'm looking for. I'm just trying to see what have I missed in here. I did notice that that was kind of weird, actually. Floorboards are loose. Okay. Here we go. There's something back here that looks like a switch. Sorry I'm trying to make a hasty exit, but it is roasting in this tiny room with electronics. So I'll be able to fab rest of the stream. No, thank you very much for the, for the raid. I understand sometimes you kind of just got to... Drop the raid and go, but I appreciate it nonetheless. Thank you so much for that. Very kind. All right. That's what I was missing. Was this a uh, little hide, a uh, little cubby hole? Something smells sour. Probably a dead body in there. Many bottles of wine. The wine bottles are covered in cobwebs. Is that it? Is that everything? There's got to be something more here, right? Wine barrel. Something smells sour. Yeah. Hmm. Something just made a noise. Oh god. Okay. It's you, of course it's you. Ah! Get off! Get off me! <laughs> this is a boy. Get off! Is that it? See, I feel like it was progress that that was there, but there was also nothing down there, so... Let's check again. No, there's just nothing there. Hmm. Cat goes. Blind. I don't. Uh, is that the? Is that the doll that goes to nowhere? I think it is, isn't it? No, it's not. That one's not. Genuinely kind of lost. Because if it wasn't that, then what? You know. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna check into the read of this and see what if there's any steps I missed. Okay, I put the panel thing. Uh, nightstand between beds. Uh, table left. Blah, 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 blah. Search bed. Ooh. Is there a bed I have to search then? Hold on. Maybe that's maybe that's something I need to trigger. Oh, 
Oh, okay. I didn't search this. Oh. There's a book on the bed. A large book. The cover is made of copper. You now have the copper book. Right. Cool. I have the copper book. Maybe that has triggered what I need in the in the, um, the kitchen now. Sometimes adventure games are kind of built in a way where you kind of need to do certain things for certain things to trigger. So until you get that one thing, you'll just kind of be wondering about, uh, wondering what to do until until you, you hit that, you flip that switch, basically. Um, let me put the cup of book on a bookshelf. That would make sense. Yeah, this isn't going anywhere. Where is there a bookshelf? Hmm. I'm checking this. Same at this more thoroughly. Okay, it says in the kitchen. It's like. It says Beth should be in there. Well, how does that happen? Okay, well, let's not worry about that. Leave kitchen to the door. Oil can... What? It's not all done. I don't remember where a bookshelf would be. This is in the library. This is where I came from, though. Oh, come on. I'm dead. You didn't even stab me! I'm gonna take a quick toilet break and I'm gonna have a think about this. I'm also gonna take over the walkthrough. Uh, I will be right back.
done a bit of reading. I think I understand that I need to actually go back to the um. Uh, huh. Okay. Right. Uh, I need to go back to the kitchen. I think it's apparently a random chance whether Scissor Man or Beth appears. So, at this point, I just have to go back down and, and uh, wait to hear a noise, I guess, from the uh, the pantry basement. Do is I'm gonna do a save state here. Wine barrel, something smells sour. Well, many bottles of wine. I need Beth to appear, because apparently she gives me a key. Don't go up, don't go up. Hmm. Do I just have to wait, or...? Maybe I need to look in the wine barrel somehow, but I don't know how to do that. He just looks at it. Maybe if I press square. Oh, god damn it. I need to climb up again to hear the noise. Maybe. Doesn't seem to be so. Hey, Anarch, how's it going? Oh, here we go. I think this might be it. Oh, right, here we go. Yeah. Okay, so you can find Beth alive. Oh, she's in the barrel. Okay, I got it. I got I got what I need now. The key in the pool of blood. I have the mansion key. That's what I've been waiting for. That's what I needed. Ah, uh, playing Fallout 4 and preparing to move. Nice. Finally got what I wanted, though. That's, that's, that's it. Right. Great. Ah, oh, goodness. All right, so where does the mansion key... Game works with the mouse. That hmm. wasn't why. Yeah, it could be why. It depends on who you are. Yeah, you haven't missed much at all, Frank, because I just got uh, I got lost. Um, 
All right, where's my key? Do I not have... Sorry, did I not get the mansion key? Oh, there we go. It worked! Okay, great. Yeah, uh, maybe it's for a different ending to uh, save Beth. Yeah, it probably makes sense. I'm not going for like the best ending here. That I do that if I want to do like a replay or something. Okay, we have a new place to explore. It's no use. Metal things are completely rusted. Can I go up here? Okay, activate the stairs, please. What is this motion? <laughs> oh, uh, outside now, I guess. Oh, crap. I can't have something frozen right now. <laughs> I need to put that away. I can't eat. <laughs> I'm not going to have a, something in the middle of a street. No, there's a cat in here. She snuck in. <laughs> You're not supposed to be here. Hey, it's not one thing, it's another. <laughs> See, I love this cat, but she she always uh she always wants to be up in my business when I'm streaming, and I I, I, can't, so I can't have her around when I'm streaming because otherwise she just gets tangled in all the wires and tries to climb all over me, which is cute, but I need to focus as well. All right. Jennifer, all right, it's Nolan. Nolan, you're alive. Where is everyone? I don't know. Scissor Man attacked us, and everyone scattered. Ah, oh. It's the bone room. Nolan, you've hurt your leg. Just a cut. I'll be all right if I rest. <laughs> Nolan, I'll go. By yourself? Yes. I'll come back after I've found and killed him. Damn, Jennifer. Oh, ghost children. You saw them too? This is fine, yeah. I've seen them a few times already. They are probably the ghosts of the children killed here. Yeah, that uh, seems like an educated so guess. Many. Okay, I can't interact with him now. I clearly wanted to... Uh, Maybe towards something. 
Bones all over the floor. No? Just the bones? Okay. Alright, this is a new place, I think. <clears throat> More to explore. Oh. Have I? Oh, okay. And it's back to the bone room. Okay. I vaguely understand. Okay, I see how it loops back around. The bone zone. Probably shouldn't go near there. Probably, yeah. Seems like an educated choice. This door is locked. Okay. Good to know. So where? Oh, oh, and this leaps back around to here. Right, okay. Okay, then. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, crap. I don't even know if I've been here yet. I haven't. Oh no, I have. This is this is the. Uh... Um... Oh God, where am I? Something else in the kitchen I can use, I reckon. Maybe not. Um, apparently I can't use these pots. Let's get out of there. I just thought it was safe to search. It's never safe to search anything here. I've used everything because I just got lost for so long. My dread followed by the kitchen island. Yeah, those kitchen islands are devilish, you know. Oh no, that's the wrong door. I always go through that door. And it's the wrong door. There's never anything in there. Go a bit faster, Jennifer.
don't even know anymore. Promising. Oh, wait, no. Probably shouldn't go near that. No, I'm dead. There's nothing here. anything I haven't already used. I have to find something, otherwise I'm screwed, but, uh, oh, there's something else in here. I'm otherwise screwed. Okay, here we go, we got this. Foiled by the old sheet trick again. Okay. There we go. Right. Let me pause and try and figure out what I need to do. <laughs> How did that work twice? Because it was a different sheet that time. That's why it worked. Um, okay. Pantry. Okay, get out of the pantry. Um, kitchen corridor. Uh-huh. Copper book. Got that. You remember them? The bar's door to use the mansion key. Um. It says use the oil can. When did I get an oil can? Do I have an oil can? Hold on. Uh, find in page. Oil can. What's the first mention of it? Oh, wow. Um, is that in scenario one? Okay, you, you, if, if you don't get the oil can in scenario one, you can't do this bit. I must be, um... I guess I'll have to skip this. Um, talk to Nolan. Go through the door. Go all the way to the uh, to the door on the left of the blacked out door. Okay, hold on.
stopped by a blanky. Sometimes it happens that way. Confused. What? Okay. So, what are you telling me? Walk through. Uh, ghost children. Blah blah blah. Look at the door on the right. Okay. This must be the door on the right, I guess. Go all the way to the right. And through the door to the left of the blacked out door. But the door's locked. I, okay. It's telling me to go through a lock. The walkthrough is telling me to go through a door that is locked. Am I not keeping a map? I... No. <laughs> I mean, I, I generally know the layout now anyway, so it doesn't really matter. What? <clears throat> you don't have a map, you need to find it in the fireplace? What? There's a map in the fireplace? Which fireplace? There's one up here. I can't seem to do anything with this. This whole segment is confusing me, I'm going to be honest. And the walkthroughs are even more confusing because they're telling me to do things that I, I can't do. A fireplace in the study. It's dark. I can't see in it. I don't think I am. I'm at the study yet. I think the study is behind that door. I need to open. I think it's around the balcony area. That's, that's what it says. It says it's. I think it says it's behind that locked door. Judging by what that particular water is. It's very confusing. How's anyone supposed to figure this out? Uh, finding page locked. Locked. Uh huh. makes no sense. Study. This is in a different scenario. Okay. Um, 
Okay, so like what it says, talk to Nolan. He lent you something I find quite sad. I think the ghost children are singing Little John from the Castle, which we get after unlocking exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Go through the door on the right. I did do that. Um, cosmetics key back in the dressing room. I don't believe I found that. Is that this room? The mist key. Oh, the yellow newspaper. Yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah, must run in here. Oh, that was a hint. Ah, there's a small hole behind the... Okay. Well, I found something anyway. A key! La there's the library key. Well, you gave me the wrong hint, Pego, but it somehow pointed me in the right direction. <laughs> well, you know. Whatever works, I guess. <laughs> it worked, okay. Oh. Right. <laughs> See, and now we've got the, uh... Got it. How much of my time has just been spent in this one area? I've gone longer than I would usually stream as well. I just want to—I just want to get this uh, one playthrough wrapped up today. Of this, it's an extended one-off, I guess. Are there any books in the occult? Okay. Hey, King Boss. Some writing has been carved into the desktop. Let's take the dry path when choosing among the three. I wonder what this means. Dry path, eh? That's something to remember, I guess. Check the fireplace. Yes, yeah, this is the fireplace we have to check. There's nothing inside. Oh, there doesn't seem to be any focal point to check on the fireplace, is the thing. Do I have to put the book back here? Is this where I put the book? Could do a second stream of the other scenario, though. I might do, but maybe not right away. I only got this one stream of this pencil, then. Oh, here we, this is another place. Books on alchemy. There are many different languages. Philosophy books. Oh, there's a book slot. <gasps> Many books covered in copper. There's one book missing. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Can you put the can you put the book in the slot then? If there's one book missing, put it in there. What are you doing? You kidding me? Uh What? <laughs> okay. I think I have to do something else first. Let's use a step ladder. A footstool. 
Hey, then go to the follow ant trooper. Yeah, there's something on there. I can't reach it. Then use the footstool. <laughs> the, the, the furniture dragging noises are very authentic in this. Old lambskin parchment. The Barrows family genealogy. What does this mark? Someone has been marked in red. The 13th generation Barrows, Quinton Barrows. It says, traitor. You now have a genealogy. Okay. Do I actually have to put the book in there? It feels like I should, but it's it's not telling me to do that. Um, it's, it's not telling me to do that. Okay. Oh, okay. I have to find out something about uh, Quentin now, I think. I mean, that's what we were here in the first place, to find out about Scissorman. I still can't believe it just wouldn't let you put the book in. It feels like it should be able to do that. Uh, we want to go... Yeah. Wait, no, that's just the, uh... What? It smells like something is burning. Oh, God. I saw someone's feet. Camera's on the floor. It's a professional camera Tim was using. Some matches on the floor. You now have the matches. Oh no, Tim! Oh no, Tim? I want to be. Damn, it's harder than I remember. Yes. That might be true. Okay. I think what we, we have to match up the genealogy with one of these lots. A plaque reads Quinton Barrows. He's the 13th generation. I noticed. Look behind the, the back side. Book to the, yeah, stick to the back side of the portrait. It's hard to read, but it says, "Danger is near." I've hidden the map in the library. I hope people in a later time may discover the door and expel the devil's children from this world. Quentin Barrows. Okay. Rippy pippy Tim. That's true. We're on track for like the worst ending. <laughs> oh well. Maybe I'll get a better ending another time. Um, I just have to check it, don't I? I didn't have the option to check it before. I don't see anything, it's too dark. Ah, here we go. Uh. Oh, uh. Excuse me? Uh, what? Sure, right, yeah. No, 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 that's, that's okay. Mm hmm. Uh, I wanted to use the candle, not go in. Apparently, you have to put it in the candle holder. <laughs> Max is dripped here and there. 
Okay, so put that in it. Okay, maybe it wants me to look at it again. No, don't go. Okay. Can't see anything. It's either. Oh, okay, now I can put it in, right? So go look at it once, put the candle in, and then use the matches with the candle. Something is stuck at the back. This looks like a sketch of the mansion. It seems to be a passage drawn under the fountain. We now have mansion map. Fantastic. Okay. That was a Sierra death right there. Oh yeah, that was that was very Sierra. Okay. Mm-hmm. Who knows what dragged up, dragged uh, Jennifer up there? I don't know. Apparently, it's a uh, scratch marks from the floor made by something heavy being dragged across it. Okay, maybe now I put the copper book in here. Okay. Drawing of the moon. Drawing of the stars. And a drawing of the sun. I mentioned something about the dry path, but... Hmm. But I also have a plate, don't I? Drawing of the stars. Can I reach that? Uh huh. Shaft keeps going all the way down. Uh, dry path seems to indicate maybe. This? It's either right or I'm gonna die. I can hear a wash with the button. That's not right. That's not right. <laughs> That's death. Thank you for the follow, Grandpa and Doom. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That is not the right way. Okay, well I have a I have a star plate, so I guess I'll try the star path then. It's too dark, I can't see anything. Nope, that's also wrong. <laughs> what does this even mean? Uh actually. At least the checkpoints are generous. Yeah. Doesn't make me afraid to experiment, at least. Okay. Deep shaft. It's impossible to know how far down it goes. There we go. We've made it through. important. A dagger. Okay. The symbol carved into it. Oh, Jesus. Um. Go. Oh. 
or just die. Okay, I just got strangled by a zombie. Right, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's always summer going on, isn't there? Right. Okay. I guess just trying. I didn't go through the door fast enough, I don't think. Alright, let's go. Get out of there! So now we have to go at the it mentioned the fountain in the in the map, didn't it? So I guess we have to go there. Okay, we have to go down to this door down here. It, it kind of astounds me how anyone was meant to figure this uh I guess this is why like it's a it's a short game, is because it's also oh no. Not the scissor man. Maybe I can use this. No, I can't use that again. Uh. Okay, maybe I use the door at the end of this hallway again. Okay, just be prepared. Okay, you can use that indefinitely, it's just a cost of your, like, uh... Okay. It's just, it's just a risk... It's just riskier, okay. Okay, it makes you, uh, more stressed, I guess. Door on the bottom? Is it? Okay. Use the map. Well, what to do with it? Um. Hmm. Nearby. I thought I saw that on the floor earlier. Ah. Okay. I I would I would laugh very hard if they just made like a toilet flush noise there. <laughs> okay. Hi. Edward, are you all right? Jennifer, I found a way out. Where? When did this get a block remake? This isn't the remake, Dapper Andy. This is uh, this is the sequel. Everyone else is already from nineteen ninety six. Really? Uh oh. Edward. Oh, that is the bad ending. 
right. Good to know. Okay, well, uh... <laughs> it's not surprising to me I got the batting. I, there's a lot that I missed. Because, uh, it was my first playthrough. I'm sure if I'd done another playthrough, I probably would have, uh... I probably would have found out which one it was. Okay. Tell you what we'll do. Uh, ending rank D. Yeah. That seems about right. Okay. What we'll do is I will look up the other endings. <laughs> um, okay. Let's just mute, mute this. Uh, I'm going to go on to here. And I'm going to open up YouTube. Uh, okay. Uh, Clock Tower PS1 uh, Endings. Okay. Is this right? Uh, is this right? Uh, yes, it is. Okay. Here we go. I got it. Uh, oh, eh, there we go. Well, watch this. So th th this one, you make it to the end of the hall. Uh, Jennifer. Huh? That voice. Who are you? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so ending C is you dive that way instead. Where many mangled male and female bodies are being found. The search for more corpses still continues. Hey, someone is still alive. Carry them gently. A survivor. There seems to be a survivor. <clears throat> she gets slapped to death, apparently, yeah. Okay, that's ending rank C. So we definitely got the worst one. Um, here we go. So ending rank B, you get to the end of the hall. You don't just get clubbed over the head by Edward immediately. This one, K dies. Yeah, you want to know one of the things I missed was? Because I didn't get an oil can in the very first scenario, there was a door I couldn't get through. The barred door behind the stairs, I couldn't get through. So in order to get a good ending, you need to take an item from the first scenario. And if you don't have it, you're screwed. That's kind of what I'm gathering from this. Um, I guess there won't be a second playthrough. Not immediately. I might do another one at so some point. So it was you, Edward. <laughs> I guess the secret is finally out, Jennifer. But my name isn't Edward. It's Dan. <gasps> you don't mean... No! So, you remember me now. Sounds Jennifer! Oh, Nolan! Come here, you scissor-fingered little runt. Just try it! Dan was a giant baby? What? How come he became small? Alright, oh, that's what you do with the statue. I think, I think Dan's dead, I guess. Open the door and show me the way. Oh, and then you're gonna. And then that's what you use the um, the translation for. That, that's the door that needs to be opened. B, because she must get, like, pulled in here. And then, I guess, the ending A, you have to use, like, the dagger at this point to, like, stab, uh, Dan in the face or something. Yeah. Oh, 
Okay. Wow, so in all the endings, is that the best one Jennifer dies? I have to try out the, the, uh, the Helen scenario at some point as well. That's the ending. That's ending rank B. Okay. And then ending rank A, I presumably, is mostly the same up until the point. Uh, wait, wait, hold on. Skip too far ahead. Okay. Here. Then you use the dagger, right? Yep. Shadow Realm. Okay. I think except for that little that thing I missed in the very first scenario, I was on track for a I decent ending. I wonder how many days have passed since we were locked in here. Days? I think it's been only a night. Are we going to die like this? <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm sure Helen will rescue us. You know, you're tough. <laughs> She's also 15. No, you're just weak. Nolan! Helen? Jennifer! Nolan! Helen! Damn. Castle has been uh, completely flawed. Okay. I sure hope Nolan is a junior reporter. Yeah, right? Is there anything above this? Oh, no. It's, it's just the credits after that. Okay. Right. So those are the endings. Uh, it's a shame I couldn't get them. Um, at some point, I might try out the Helen scenario and see if we can get a better ending on that one. Um, but until then, uh, this has been the my clock tower one-off, which is also a part of Game Blast. This is this is the audience choice for this year, so I can get that crossed off now. Wonderful. Uh, I'm next going to be live on Saturday, and on Saturday I'm going to be playing um Pajama Sam Four, which is the last humongous entertainment game I need to play. So uh, that should be interesting. Pajama Sam Four is apparently not very good. Uh, so it'll probably just be like a, an hour and a half stream of just kind of messing around in the game and seeing how we what we think of it. And then on Sunday, I will be continuing Tomb Raider. So if you want to watch Tomb Raider, that is the Sunday game. So Saturday and Sunday, I've got a couple of streams lined up. Uh, so yeah, this has been a lot of fun. Um, let's get a, a raid going now. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna send you over to oh you know what Trav guy's streaming. I'm gonna send you over to Trav guy. Uh, say hi to Trav for me. Uh, Trav Guy TV, who's playing Metroid Dread at the moment. Uh, and I will see you all, um, on Saturday for Pajama Sam. Bit of a change of pace from Clock Tower, but, you know. Let's go to the, uh, post stream. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful evening.